right place. Nothing can go wrong. So you gotta make sure.
Okay, so <clears throat> the next piece is another really cool one because uh, it, is, it was written for this group. Uh, we, I have a, a friend of mine is a composer, his name is Doug Spada, he publishes lots of music for uh, orchestras. We've done some of his stuff before Meridian Passage was his, if you remember that one. Uh, and so um, he uh, emailed me several months back and asked if there were any, like if there was some teaching uh, you know, situation that wasn't being covered by orchestra literature, like is there a piece that I can write to help you teach a concept? And I said, well, yeah, playing in position and staying in position, right, which is a more advanced skill. <clears throat> I said, there is a piece like that out there for middle school kids that lets them stay in one position once they've shifted up into a higher position. I said, I'd love a piece like that. So he wrote it. Uh, and it is called uh, Echelon. Uh, but when they went to, to publish it, um, they found out, actually, that there's already a piece called Echelon, so he's going to change the name to Rubicon. Alfred Music is publishing it next year. It will be dedicated to the fine musicians you see behind me. And that will be written on the music so that everyone who buys it all over the world will see that it's dedicated to Hamilton Southeastern, which is very, very cool. So we're excited about that. And very cool. That's actually the second piece that's been dedicated to this program. There's another one uh, out now that we may do next year, those of you that are still here. Uh, but anyway, so this is Rubicon or Echelon, whatever you want to call it, uh, by Doug Spada. And the first time it's being performed, too, by the way. It's never been performed. This is a premiere. Get your phone. <laughs> Mr. Spadas. Uh, okay, um, we're going to do our eighth grade honor stuff first before we do our awards. And every year, 
Uh, we honor our eighth graders by allowing them to honor a teacher or a staff member that they feel has impacted them while they've been here at Hamilton Southeastern Intermediate Junior High. Uh, and some of those faculty members are with us tonight, so I'm going to um, read each student's name and who they're honoring, and then if that person is here, would you mind standing and the student will come and deliver your little gift to you, um, give you a nice hug, and then they'll come back and hang out up here when we'll do the full honor for everyone. Okay? So we're starting out with Isaac Callisto. Isaac honored Mr. Tom Eubing. I think he's here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, David Fernandez is next, and he honored another social studies teacher, Mr. Tim Latimer. Woodrow uh, is honoring me, which I'm honored by. So I'll just keep this. <laughs> Thank you. I do want you to go right up to the bottom. Thank you. Down the bottom of the Sophia Downs is honoring Mrs. Bridget Hardy. Is Mrs. Hardy here tonight? Okay. Well, if they're not, we'll hang on to this. You'll, or you'll hang on to it and give it to her tonight. Uh, Allie Holt is honoring Mr. Tom Eubing. Uh, AJ Rickford is honoring Mrs. Tiffany Venturi. Alex Jerkovich is honoring Mr. Tom Eubing. Clara Rainey is honoring Mrs. Kathy Gammons. Anastasia Bracky is honoring Miss Madeline Hennessy. Kendall McCoy is honoring me. All right, Chris Farber is honoring Mr. Tom Eubing. Paige Cope is honoring Ms. A Mrs. Amber Ward, uh, who is actually not teaching here anymore. She went and took a job at another place, but we'll make sure she gets it. All right. Aww. Ananya is honoring Mr. Tom Eubing. <laughs> he must be a good teacher. It's not one of them, right? <laughs> Colin Ehrman is uh, honoring Mr. Iannacci. Lily Cox is honoring Mrs. Ashley Cooper. Um, James Prince is honoring Miss Michelle Houston. Um, Lily Shrek is honoring Mr. Greg McCord. Nathaniel Darling honoring Mrs. Ashley Cooper. <laughs> Zach Darling honoring Mr. Anthony I. <laughs> Hannah Justice is honoring Mr. Ben Yoder. Uh, Emma Bowie is honoring Mr. Tom Eubing. <laughs> Kaylee Bennett is honoring Mrs. Amber Ward. And again, we'll make sure she gets that. 
Sarah Davis is honoring Miss Lindsay Kinker. <laughs> Ashley Wyatt is honoring Mrs. Bridget Hardy. <laughs> Delaney McManama is honoring Mrs. Ashley Cooper. And Maggie Phillips is honoring me. Thank you, Maggie. You know, this, uh, it is always hard for me to say goodbye to eighth grade students, but this year is particularly difficult because uh, these students have been exemplary musicians and people uh, throughout my time with them. We started them in sixth grade. Uh, that was the first year that this was a five through eight building, so that was when things had really shifted and changed. It was the first year of doing sixth grade orchestra in this building, so there were some growing pains happening, but these guys took it in stride and I think um, have grown up to be some wonderful young ladies and gentlemen uh, and some wonderful musicians who I will really miss working with. Uh, so please help me honor this class of 2018 Leaving HIV. I know they will do wonderful things as they progress to the high schools and beyond. Come on back up, folks. And we have awards for these guys yet. And then I have some thank yous. Sorry, we don't want to talk in right now, but we'll get back to the music shortly. Okay, uh, this orchestra again voted themselves, and here's what we've got. Um, our most approved student in this class, again, was a wonderful player to begin with, but has really worked very hard, and I've noticed it too. So I'm glad that his classmates have noticed that he's been putting in the extra work to improve uh, and continue to grow to be a great viola player. Please help me to congratulate James Prince. activities musically outside of school and also one of our great leaders and players. Please help me to uh, recognize the wonderful Chris Farber. And our second winner this evening again, very dedicated player, another violinist, uh, very dedicated player, uh, knows the parts, works hard, uh, plays very well, and has really blossomed this year, A.J. Rickaford. All right, and our leadership award. This class is full of leaders, but one stood out for these guys. Um, she's another violin player. <laughs> uh, and, and knows her part, helps others learn theirs. It was a joy to watch her uh, work in her chamber group, her small ensemble group this year as well. Um, and I'm really going to miss her leadership. Please help me congratulate Lily Cox. Spirit Award, again, the one of the things I'm going to miss about this class is the things they say. You just have no idea uh, how much fun it is to hear them talk about life in general at 9 o'clock in the morning. It's a lot of fun, uh, and I really enjoy my job because of it. Uh, but this particular person, I don't think it's going to come as any surprise uh, that the class chose her, uh, a violist. Uh, she always has something to say. Sometimes it's at the right time, sometimes it's not, but that's okay. Lily Shrek. Okay, and I have one award that I give out every year um, that is, it's called the uh, Director's Award for Orchestra, and it's given out in orchestra programs all across the country, um, and so there's some criteria that go along with it, um, so I'll tell you what that criteria is. Um, leadership and uh, exemplary playing, um, dedication to orchestra and the team are all things that this person exemplifies. Uh, they are a, a leader in their section, 
I can count on them to practice it until it is right. And I will tell you, that is a very important skill to have, the, the uh, dedication to excellence that this person displays uh, every single day when she comes to class uh, is visible to me and I hope visible to others. Um, and so I'm very proud this year. Her name will go on a plaque on the wall in the orchestra room and will be there forever and ever. Please help me to recognize Anastasia Frack. Okay, uh, as we wrap up this evening, I have a couple of thank yous. First of all, um, none of this would be possible without the support of a, of a wonderful administration, not only at the district level, but also at the building level. We have two wonderful administrators here, uh, Mr. Jeff Iguli and Mr. Tim Mankin, and I know Mr. Mankin is here in the back. Would you please help me recognize him and thank him for his would like to thank the faculty that came tonight. It's a pleasure to teach with all of you, um, and you make my life so much fun and work so much fun, so thank you for your support of the program by being here. And of course, none of this would be possible without our parents and our stakeholders who are here this evening. Your dedication and your assistance with getting instruments and trying to convince kids to practice even when they don't want to, taking them to concerts, taking them to events, volunteering, uh, is all so important to a strong orchestra program. So students, would you thank your parents and the folks that are here tonight for what they do for you? take a moment to thank our two percussion players who've been doing a wonderful job in the back, Ryan and Joey from our band program. And again, it is my pleasure to be the orchestra director in this building. Uh, I love coming to work every day and I love working with these kids and making music with them. It's a real privilege and a pleasure. So I thank you again for your support uh, this year. It has been a fantastic year for this program and I know there are even greater things coming next year as well. So thank you so much for coming. Have a fantastic summer. We're gonna end with some queen this evening.
Thank you again so much. Have a fantastic summer.